As fall turns to winter, shorter days and cooler temperatures whisper a message to animals around the world that the time has come to move. So begins the magic of animal migration. Every year, millions of birds migrate north and south following a route called the Pacific Flyway. To witness this incredible phenomenon of nature, we began our journey at Morro Bay on the central coast of California, approximately 320 miles from Las Vegas. Morro Bay is an environment where the pounding waves of the ocean are separated from the bay by a barrier beach of sand, making for a calm sanctuary. The Morro Bay Estuary is such a special place, partly because it's the only habitat like this for hundreds of miles up and down the coast. Um, the protected waters here and the intertidal environment provides the kind of habitat that's so critical for the birds making their migratory routes up and down the entire Pacific Flyway. In order to get a better view of both resident and visiting birds, we joined our good friend Kevin Winfield of Subsea Tours. We're going to take a little tour through the National Estuary. Uh, this is the perfect time of year. We're just at the beginning of uh, winter. So we get all the migratory birds that work, fly through here, the brant geese, loons, greaves, buffleheads. Morro Rock, an extinct volcanic peak, stood firm in the background as we made our way into the bay. Pulling out of the harbor, an osprey eyed us from the mast of a sailboat. We watched as brant geese flew by, having made their way here from Alaska. As we took in the fresh salt air, we spied a pair of wintering grebes off the bow of the boat. A black oyster catcher was recognizable by its bright red-orange bill. Shorebirds by the thousands line up along the water's edge for the buffet of food to be found in these shallow waters. As we passed by, we saw a great white egret eyeing the water for possible prey. Kevin suggested we head to port to switch boats for a different view of the bay. He wanted us to experience his subboat to explore life within the water. As we descended to the lower deck, we saw that windows had been outfitted on each side of the sub to give us a better view within the bay. We were mesmerized by the white anemones that were growing along the pilings of the dock. On closer inspection, we could also see a small acorn barnacle using its feathery limbs to capture food from these plankton-rich waters. We sailed past a bed of eelgrass, which is a primary food source for some of the migrating birds. And then we got a glimpse of some herring. A profusion of kelp swayed with the current. Kelp is a marine seaweed that can grow more than a foot a day. Occurring in cold, nutrient-rich waters from Alaska to California, kelp is important to wildlife as food, habitat, and shelter. An estuary is an area where fresh water from rivers and streams mixes with salt water from the ocean. From its rich waters to the vegetation along the shoreline, this ecosystem brims with life of all kinds and offers food as well as shelter to weary long distance feathered travelers. As the day came to a close, we watched thousands of birds partaking in an evening aerial dance in what is surely a part of one of the most fascinating phenomena found in nature.